wonderful human beings and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan content and tips to help you live well. I wanted to film another packing video because I feel like they really help me just like stay on task. I am the biggest procrastinator, but only when it comes to packing. I don't know why. Um, but I travel a lot, so I have it down. Like I know what I need to bring, I just hate doing it. And it's the weirdest thing, but the first time that I filmed one of these videos, it was super helpful because I wanted to like wrap up the video and it just really helped me to stay focused on packing. So it's the day before, my flight is really, really early tomorrow morning. So again, I'm doing this <laughs> so last minute. I don't know why I keep doing this. But you guys seem to love the video, so I'm excited to make another one. So my last packing video, which I'll link down below in the description box, I felt like I wanted to make it a little bit shorter because I pretty much bring the same things with me when I travel. Most importantly, things that make me feel really good, healthy, and just well, because traveling can take so much out of you. And I'm going away for two weeks, so this will be a little bit more stuff than usual. Also, I am a blogger, so sometimes I end up bringing things that may seem silly, like clothing that I might not need that much of, but then I've got to shoot content, so just a little disclaimer. And you guys said in my last packing video that you wanted to see more details of like everything that I'm bringing in my makeup bags, the clothes that I'm packing. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I hope I can make this quick because I don't wanna sit you guys through like a 30 minute video. Um, so here we go. Let's start with clothing. So I've got this big pile of pants. Do I need to bring this many pairs of pants? Probably not, but I've gotta shoot some content so I need some variety. I've got some boyfriend jeans, pink wide leg jeans, white wide leg jeans, some kind of like swooshy soft pants, and then um, I don't know what that is, just another pair of jeans. I also have one pair of jean shorts hiding in here just in case it is warmer than I expect. Tops I'm keeping super simple. I just like to wear a lot of white. I feel like it matches with almost everything. So I have a sweatshirt, a sweater. The sweater that I'm wearing right now is also gonna be coming with me. Um, tank tops, a crop top, and then just a plain t-shirt with a little stitching there. Oh, and this black tank top. I'm just gonna bring this one white denim jacket with me. It's an oversized with like poofy sleeves kind of. Um, I just washed it so it's looking a little wiggly right now. And I also added this cute little iron-on print when I got it. It was kind of as a joke and now it's just there, but it's so subtle you don't even notice it. This is one of my favorite jackets. It goes with everything. You just throw it on top. And I think this will be good enough for how cold it gets in California, which is not that cold by New York standards. For workout wear, I'm bringing four pairs of leggings. Two are colorful and two are just plain black because black is always a classic. I've got two t-shirt crop tops here that are great for just wearing to and from workouts or putting on top of your sports bra so that you don't have to walk around the city in just a sports bra. And then I have three sports bras. These get pretty sweaty, so I feel like it's always good to have more than one or two. Um, I might even bring one more, but this is just a black one that will go with the black leggings, and these are matching with these soft leggings. And then I'm gonna pack sneakers and socks, of course. Obviously this isn't clothing related, but sometimes I like to bring these resistance bands with me because they're just really easy for hotel room workouts or just adding on to whatever workout you're doing if your hotel gym doesn't have very good equipment, so. So next I want to show you some sustainability stuff that I'm bringing with me. I am actually pretty good about using my own like cups, utensils, everything. I try my very best not to ever really use plastic water bottles. That I've kicked that habit completely for like a couple years now, so I'm very proud of that one. But when I travel is when I kind of make the most mistakes and give myself a pass because I tell myself that I'm traveling and I don't have as much space to carry all this stuff with me. But I realize that when I'm traveling is also when I'm eating out the most and trying new things because I think you guys know if you watch my channel, I cook at home a lot. So I've just decided that since I'm going for two weeks especially, I'm just gonna bring this stuff with me. I have room in my suitcase and I think it's gonna be worth it. Like every cup you save, every straw um, does make an impact. So why not, right? This guy I never go anywhere without because I always gotta stay hydrated and it carries a lot of water in it. It's 32 ounces, I think. Always get to have your own. You can refill it wherever you are. And then same thing with this portable mug. So this is a really cute kind of like coffee slash tea mug and you can just bring it to any cafe and they'll be happy to fill up your cup. Well, most places anyway. Um, so this is great for reducing like coffee cup uses. And I don't drink coffee, but I do drink a lot of matcha. So especially when I'm traveling, always good to have. Okay, now this jar is a little bit silly and honestly, it's a little bit too big to bring. I would recommend a 16 ounce mason jar, which is a little smaller than this because um, it's just a lot more practical. But the reason why I'm bringing this big one is because you can put leftover food in it. You can put like bigger smoothies in it, which I tend to get. Um, you can use it for more than just like one smoothie. So I like to bring this with me. I also bring two straws. This is a bubble tea straw and then inside that gold one, um, that's just a regular smoothie size straw. And I also bring this cutlery with me and this is like a portable set. It's very lightweight. 
can hear it. So yeah, I'm bringing this all. I know it's a little extra, but I really feel like it's worth it. And I always feel bad after traveling because I give myself so many passes that I just think this will be a good thing to bring with me. All right, let's talk about snacks. Let's do snacks next. In case you guys didn't know, I am vegan, which means that sometimes the options um, to eat on the plane are pretty bad. Um, so I like to be prepared with my own stuff. Sometimes I just won't eat on flights, especially if they're short, and six hours is kind of short in my book. Um, I'm used to doing longer flights of like 15 hours. So six hours, I usually don't need to bring anything with me, but just in case, um, you never know if you're gonna get hungry and you just have to listen to your body. So if I do get hungry, I'll have these salt-free brown rice cakes. Then I also have this vegan tuna. I just like this because it's really high in protein and it's very convenient. It doesn't smell bad because it's not actually tuna, obviously, so it doesn't overwhelmingly smell like anything, really. Um, yeah, I've tested it on the plane, it's fine. Then I have some chopped up cucumbers in this reusable sort of Ziploc bag. This is a stasher bag, I'll link it in the description box. And I feel like I bring these every time, it's just that they're very hydrating, so it's good for plane rides, which can be super dehydrating. Last but not least, some Japanese sweet potatoes. This is just nice to have because they can store really well for like one or two days without being in the fridge once they're roasted. Um, so I just cut these up last night, popped them in the oven, and I've got these perfectly roasted Japanese sweet potatoes. I know it looks a little funky, but trust me, it's delicious. I guess I lied because I have one more thing to show you. This protein bar, I kind of just bring them on trips in general, not necessarily for the flights, but always good to have one of these on hand for a little protein boost and just some energy if you ever need it. Let's do makeup and toiletries real quick. So I have a dry brush in here and this I like to use every morning. So um, I'm just bringing it with me to keep my routine up. Got saline solution, um, sunscreen. This is what I use to remove my makeup. I just use a facial oil. I normally use a different one, but I'm bringing something new to switch it up. I've got one face mask in here that also doubles as an exfoliator, so I don't have to bring as much stuff. Some shampoo and conditioner. I know that the place I'm staying has it, but I'm just bringing it in case. This facial oil, which is basically my moisturizer. I like to use a lot of oils, as you can tell. This cleanser. This mini face brush that I like to carry because it's so cute and small. This is a mini face mask. Sometimes I use this on the plane. I probably won't this time, but just in case. Um, another facial oil because that other bottle is about to be run out, so I think I'm going to use it up and then start using this one. This is just a serum that I really like. And that's pretty much it. For makeup, I'm basically just gonna bring foundation and brow gel. Oh wait, actually, sorry the lighting is getting a little funky by the way, but in here, this gua sha tool, this is from Mount Lai, I love it. It's really great for waking your face up and kind of getting rid of puffiness in the morning. I have a coffee bean eye cream and a miniature sunscreen that I could just use up. I almost forgot, but of course I have toothbrush, toothpaste in here, and then I have um, some vegan floss. I have to use this one up. This is like nearly gone, you can see that. I have a lot of things to use up this trip, but this is cocoa floss, I love it. It's vegan, and by the way, every single thing in this bag and that I use is vegan and non-toxic, so that's, that's that. So for carry-on stuff, you would have seen this pouch in my other video. I like to keep a lot of things in pouches because it's easier for organization and just a lot easier if you travel a lot. You can kind of keep things in these pouches until your next trip. So this is sort of like my health slash, I don't know, stuff that I might need to use on the plane kit. And this goes with me in my carry-on bag. So I have my vitamin pillowcase here. I have this natural upset stomach relief tablets. And I feel like this is good to have on flights because if you ever get like some kind of weird stomach feeling, it's just nice to have this. It's all natural, it's just plants and herbs in it. I kind of like to think of it as like a natural Tom's, so love that. Then I have my AirPods. I feel like a lot of you guys asked what this was. It's just a case, but my AirPods are in here. And then this is a kit of essential oils that I like to bring with me. If I have a long layover in between flights, then I might reapply some, but usually I'll just put this on before I actually get on a flight. Again, you can kind of think of this as like natural pharmacy stuff. So this one's good for headaches. This one's good for immunity. This is good for stomach discomfort, stress, that one's pretty self-explanatory and, and this one's good for pain release so it's all natural and it actually smells really good so highly recommend for travel um, I'll use it when I'm just out and about once I land as well and then the rest of the stuff in here is not too exciting I've got a pair of glasses because I don't like to wear contacts when I fly um, I have these like fake tears not fake tears what are they called they're like supposed to mimic tears in the sense that they give your eyes moisture so that's good because Planes are drying. Some antibacterial wipes because I like to sort of like wipe down the area before I embark on a long journey. And then some tea. Yeah, that's pretty much it in here. I'm traveling a lot lighter than in my Bali video because this flight is short. So for my carry-on, I almost always use this pink bag. I think you guys have seen it before. Most importantly, I have a new little bag tag. And this has been beaten up a little bit just because I've had to check it in once, which I'm not a fan of, and that's when it really gets beat up from being like thrown around, you know? But super cute, probably my favorite bag. And what's cool about it is that you can open it up 
like this. So for someone like me who's traveling a lot, you can easily just open it up to get something out really quickly without having to kind of like sprawl all over the floor. You know what I mean? Actually, this view is kind of not so satisfying. Let's give it a turn. I honestly don't really need this bag in terms of like space. I have space in my other check-in bag, but this makes it a lot easier to roll because it is really heavy. And sometimes I use this duffel bag. I think you guys saw the pink version of this bag in my last video. But if you can imagine carrying your drone, laptop, two cameras, GoPro, chargers, all of that in this one bag on your shoulder, it's a little heavy. So anyway, we're just gonna leave it roomy. That's fine, I'm sure it'll fill up later with some other stuff. And this pocket I used to put in um, my laptop and my iPad. So um, yeah, like I said, it's easy access. I'm probably not gonna put it in until tomorrow because I still got work to do, but that's this. Now for the duffel, this is the same duffel I had in the last video, but I had it in pink. The reason why I got a new one is because the brand, which is called Dagging Dover by the way, recently released newer bags. Maybe not recently actually, because my pink bag is from years ago, so I don't know how recently, but their bags now have this like little flap here, and it honestly makes all the difference because you can put this onto your suitcase handle, and when you're rolling it, your bag won't slide off. You know what I mean? So really, really handy, and this is where I put stuff that I need to use on the flight. So this pink bag goes up in the overhead head section and then this stays under my seat and I have everything that I need. I was gonna close out the video like this but this is a little bit too scary of an angle so let me just not be lazy and set up the tripod <sighs> again. I think we're pretty much done here. I've got everything packed away now, um, so that's the end of the video. If you guys want to see some of my adventure once I get to San Diego, I'll be posting vlogs as well from there and what I eat in a day. Um, it's always so much fun to travel because you get to explore new vegan restaurants in a new city. I've been to San Diego a couple times before, so I do have older vlogs if you want to check those out as well. Um, and then I'll be heading to LA, so the next time I see you guys will probably be in San Diego or LA. If you like this video, I'm gonna link two more packing videos that I've done before that you'll probably also enjoy. I'm also gonna try and link as many products that I've shown in this video as I can. Um, if I can find it online, I will link it in the description box for you guys because I know it's a lot easier <laughs> doing that than having to ask me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.